got it all worked out. Uh, we do need to get one more sound check before we start this thing off, though, okay? So we, can, we, can we try the applause, please? One, one time. Please. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, indeed. And uh, let's try the laughter. <laughs> can we bring that other group in, please? No, you're great. Uh, what time are we on? Whew, you're right, we better get started. Let's go. From Hollywood, it's live. Dick Black presents with the songs of Captain and Tennille, the magic of Joseph Gabriel, the laughs of Jan Karam, the music of Reba McIntyre, the illusions of the Pendragons, Funny Man, Henny Youngman, and Michael Jackson's friend, Bubbles the Chip. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live, here's your host, Dick Clark. Thank you, Bob Hilton. Thank you very, very much. Oh, you are a good group. You know, when you put on a show like this, it feels sort of like a trapeze artist working without the net. Believe me, if we blow it, you will know it, because it's happening right now. I was checking the newspaper. There's an awful lot to talk about, except this is... Uh, the last day of summer, that's about it, on September 21st, 1960. Chubby Checker was keeping everybody's weight down with his number one hit, The Twist. And if you were sitting in front of a television set back in 1964, you were about to see the first episode of The Man from UNCLE. All of those things, of course, are way back there in the past. Right now, though, I'd like you to meet one of America's most animated comedians. Watch this. <laughs> Two guys meet, one says, what's the latest dope on Wall Street? He says, my son. I take my wife everywhere, but she finds a way home. The man walks into a doctor. The doctor says, you're going to live to be 60. He says, I am 60. This is what I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> now, the animated version is funny, but you can never, never top the original. Here he is, the one and only, the king of the one-liners, ladies and gentlemen, Henny Youngman. <laughs> <laughs> Take my wife, please. I had my wife down to Atlantic City. She gambled all night. Six in the morning, I said, let's go to bed. She said, I don't like the odds. <laughs> I thought somebody might like that. <laughs> anyway, Tammy Baker was supposed to be here, but she broke her leg, her eyelash fell on it. <laughs> they took her makeup off, they found Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> Milton Brown was supposed to be here but he had an operation, a charisma bypass. <laughs> Folks, I feel good. I just got back from a pleasure trip. Took my mother-in-law to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> my mother-in-law's in the Olympics. She's a javelin catcher. <laughs> I've been traveling all week. I got in an airplane. I had three pieces of luggage. I said, I want this piece to go to Miami. I want this piece to go to Cleveland. And I want this piece of luggage to go to Toronto. He says, we can't do that. I said, you did it last week. <laughs> the food on the plane was fit for a king. Here, king, here, king. <laughs> you, think I, you think we have headaches? How about the presidential nominations? Mr. Dukakis, there's a guy who complains about headaches. Mr. Dukakis, when you get out of bed, at feet first. <laughs> Mr. Bush, is he mixed up? He went to a luncheon last week. He kissed a sandwich and bit the baby. <laughs> I want to... <laughs> I want to tell you, people are mixed up. I came out of the Carnegie Deli in New York, and a panhandler walked up. He said, I haven't eaten in two days. I said, you should force yourself. <laughs> Any Italians here tonight? I love the Italian people. During World War II, an Italian girl saved my life. She hid me in a cellar. It was in Toronto. <laughs> I feel good. I met a wonderful doctor. He gave a guy six months to live. Couldn't pay his bill. Gave him another six months. <laughs> a man said, Doctor, I'm having trouble home with my love life. What should I do? He said, take off 20 pounds, run 10 miles a day. Man calls him two weeks later. Doc, took off the 20 pounds. I've been running 10 miles a day. He says, how's your love life? I don't know, I'm 140 miles away. <laughs> Doctor put a stethoscope to my heart. I said, Doc, how do I stand? He said, that's what puzzles me. <laughs> Doctor said to me, get undressed. I said, take me out a few times first. <laughs> I'm standing. 
me in there with no clothes on. The doctor said, go over that window, stick your tongue out. I said, but what? He said, I'm mad at my neighbor. <laughs> I said, Doc, I got shingles. He tried to sell me aluminum siding. <laughs> I wish my grandson were here. I got a grandson. I said, what are you doing now? He says, I'm a mom back. Stand behind a truck. He said, mom back. <laughs> he does dumb jokes. You ever see a dumb guy whistle for a cab? Taxi. <laughs> Two dumb guys walking along. One said, look at a dead bird. He said, where, where? <laughs> I wish my son Gary was here. He's busy with the children tonight. My son Gary's a movie director. I know him personally. And uh, <laughs> I have a scene for him. I'm going to try and do it. Now, picture this. I'm sitting at a bar having a drink on a stool. Over here's a man having a drink. He falls down. I pick him up. Bartender, do you know where this man lives? I'll give him a lift home. Tells me where he lives. I grab the guy, pull him down to the car, put him in the car. He falls in the back seat. I get to the address they gave me. I pull the man out. He falls down three more times. I pick him up each time. I knock on the door. Mrs. Welser, I brought your husband home. She says, where's his wheelchair? <laughs> I love this crowd. Penny Youngman, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. Penny. How many years have you been in this entertainment business? I've been in show business now for about 60 years. Now, you must have... Oh, 60 years. You must have done it all. Is there anything left? What more could you want? Well, all I want is an audience with an audience like you. I want to hear you laugh and applaud the things I do. Go on and call me a ham. I don't give a damn, I'm confessing that it's true. All I want is an audience with an audience like you. Thank you very Mr. Much. Henny Youngman. Thank you, Henny. Have a good time. 